Hello friends and followers, this is special episode 24, uh, 27th of October 2017, and yes, New Zealand is time travelling into the future. Um, we're always a day ahead of America, if you're ever wondering why the dates I state is different to YouTube's. Anyway, this episode I'll be covering uh, the memo from the Roswell. Um, there was a TV show that aired tonight, and I found a clipping of some new analysis, well, a, a new scan of it, and I tried to see if I could actually read the characters on using some enhancements myself and see what you think. I'm interested to see what you can read out of it, and uh, hopefully we can get a better clipping sometime. Uh, it's a shame they don't provide... Um, the actual source they scanned in for everybody in the world to have a look at. But you know what it is like with copyright. Uh, everybody wants to make money from UFO stuff. This is just going to be a short episode. I won't spend too long on it. But I'm just going to put information out there and see what comes of it. I like mysteries and solving puzzles. I'm sure there's a few out there already into that sort of thing as well. So, as you can read from these titles here from newspaper clippings that come out in May 2017, that they had received some new images of the photographs and uh, got some special software that they thought they could decode the writing on it, unbend it and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, yes, another TV show decided to get the negatives and rescan it in as high as possible quality and get an expert to analyze it and enhance it which we don't have access to unfortunately so this is about uh, general rammy i suppose that's how you say his name um, you can see that he looks like he's a a deer caught in car headlights because the way he looks and the way he's holding the memo it's almost like he wants people to accidentally photograph it and be able to read it. You know, you'd think he'd put it in his pocket or fold it up, but he's sort of holding it out. He also is looking at the debris with a strange look on his face, thinking, this is not what I found. Are you crazy? They would never believe this, which is basically what's happened. <laughs> So here's an image of a close-up of the memo and rotated from the first um, investigation done in May. As you can see, it's not very clear on this image I've got here. There may be better ones out there. And here's the new image that's scanned in, but also it's uh, low res taken from a TV frame, I guess. So this is what we have to deal with. But it's one of those things where if you get the right distance away from it and stare at it enough, uh, words seem to form in your head that you think it says. And you can actually look at, once you've got a few letters that have been confirmed, you can actually then use that uh, squiggly pattern to sort of match other letters and other words and sort of then figure out what the word might be, which is basically what I've done here. So now on to the decoded fragment. Um, the black words with um, the green highlighting underneath are the words that have been confirmed to be correct, or the letters. And uh, the ones in orange with the green background are words that I've put in, which may be what it says. Um, it's guesswork. I've put question marks after them as well. So they're my words to see if you agree or not. So basically the top line is unreadable. And the confirmed words that have been shown on the TV show by the expert, I will read out now. And those words are, and the viewing of the G. So you could only get letter G and blah blah connected to the and then no more words at fort with 
and then unknown word and then it goes on to the next line something in the now this is an interesting bit the word is either disc or rise they said now I reckon it's this because it makes more sense with the sentence I think I have figured out so the rest of it they don't know as well and then the next line the only word they find is Rolie, uh, which could be a person's name I guess and or captain or colonel so this may say so and so of name um, has said the following and the other words they confirmed is story four and oddly enough, uh, weather balloons was also verified. And the last two words were and land. So on to what I think was the words on the memo. Um, it could be wrong. Um, you may see different. But it's still an interesting story. So the top sentence or top line is unreadable. And then it's some word and the viewing of the gathered bit connected to the something could be a disc object debris we don't know you could put any word there you want i guess at fort worth texas on to the next line part in the disc or rise was taken away for further analysis and um, that may not all be correct, but it sort of fits. Then on to the next line. Uh, not sure what it says for the first few words. And then it says a person's name or place name. Rolia. Something, 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 something. So it could be a, a person's name, like a general has given this following statement to be said and on to the next line uh, something 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 major reality of story for newspaper paper perhaps That's on to the next line something something that they may use weather balloons something more something something perhaps sea and land service cruise and it's uh, signed rammy perhaps now there's a small word before story uh, i've put cv that looks like letters cv to me could that be a abbreviation for cover-up story um i don't know maybe it could be a small word like by or two two story so yeah it's um still hit and miss but it's all fascinating still so on to the old analysis to see what words they thought it was and uh, they thought it said on the top line and the victims of the wreck uh, which we now know is incorrect and it says the viewing of the G, which I believe is the word gathered, and in the next line they say in the disc, which is basically what the new finding said as well, but he said it could also be rise because um, it's a wee bit blurry still, so it's not sure if it's a C or E at the end, or R could be instead of a D because of the angle because it's crunched up they will ship now that's not what I saw either but I did see the word disc so I think disc is the correct word there <laughs> and uh, on to the next one is a full transcript of what they decoded and you can see they got very similar words um, they got to weather balloons which has been verified and they also got and land which was verified as well and it's good to see they also got cruise the same as what I saw because I didn't actually look at this analysis before I did my own so it was like a fresh look at it so I wasn't influenced 
So I saw cruise there, but I saw service before cruise. So, but um, there is a lot of similarity there, and also got story, but they got and not for after it. So maybe when they join the both together, they might even get a better analysis done. Shame that they can't get hold of the HD new images, eh? So it'll be interesting to see where this goes. Um, there might be more stories come out over the following months or year. So I'll leave it there, and I hope you enjoyed this little special episode, and I'll be interested to see what people say in the comments about it. And uh, until next episode, take care, everybody. Thank you.